The Epistle of Jude, often shortened to Jude, is the penultimate book of the New Testament and is traditionally attributed to Jude, the servant of Jesus and the brother of James the Just. Topic: <laughs> Composition. Topic: The letter of Jude was one of the disputed books of the canon. The links between the epistle and 2 Peter, its use of the apocryphal books, and its brevity raised concern. It is one of the shortest books in the Bible, only 25 verses long. Topic. Content Topic. Jude urges his readers to defend the deposit of Christ's doctrine that had been closed by the time he wrote his epistle, and to remember the words of the apostles spoken somewhat before. Jude then asks the reader to recall how even after the Lord saved his own people out of the land of Egypt, he did not hesitate to destroy those who fell into unbelief, much as he punished the angels who fell from their original exalted status and Sodom and Gomorrah. He describes in vivid terms the apostates of his day. He exhorts believers to remember the words spoken by the apostles, using language similar to the second epistle of Peter to answer concerns that the Lord seemed to tarry, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time, who should walk after their own ungodly lusts, and to keep themselves in God's love. Before delivering a doxology, Jude quotes directly from the Book of Enoch, part of the scripture of the Ethiopian and Eritrean churches but rejected by other churches. He cites Enoch's prophecy that the Lord would come with many thousands of his saints to render judgment on the whole world. He also paraphrases verse 9 an incident in a text that has been lost about Satan and Michael the archangel quarreling over the body of Moses. Topic. Outline Topic. I. Salutation 1 to 3 2. Occasion for the letter 3 to 4 a. The change of subject. 3. B. The reason for the change. The presence of godless apostates. 4. 3. Warning against the false teachers. 5 to 16. A. Historical examples of the judgment of apostates. 5 to 7. 1. Unbelieving Israel. 5. 2. Angels who fell. 6. 3. Sodom and Gomorrah. 7. B. Description of the apostates of Jude's day 8 to 16. 1. Their slanderous speech deplored 8 to 10. 2. Their character graphically portrayed 11 to 13. 3. Their destruction prophesied 14 to 16. IV. Exhortation to believers 17 to 23. V. Concluding doxology 24 to 25. Topic Canonical status Topic. The Epistle of Jude is held as canonical in the Christian Church. Conservative scholars date it between 70 and 90. Some scholars consider the letter a pseudonymous work written between the end of the first century and the first quarter of the second century because of its references to the Apostles and to tradition and because of its competent Greek style. More remarkable is the evidence that by the end of the 2nd century Jude was widely accepted as canonical." Clement of Alexandria, Tertullian, and the Muratorian canon considered the letter canonical. The first historical record of doubts as to authorship are found in the writings of Origen of Alexandria, who spoke of the doubts held by some, albeit not him. Eusebius classified it with the "...disputed writings, the antilegomena." The letter was eventually accepted as part of the canon by church fathers such as Athanasius and the synods of Laodicea c. 363 and Carthage 397. Topic: <laughs> Authorship. Topic: The epistle title is written as follows: Jude, a servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James. NRSV: James is generally taken to mean James the Just, a prominent leader in the early church. Not a lot is known of Jude, which would explain the apparent need to identify him by reference to his better-known brother, as the brother of James the Just. It has traditionally meant Jude was also the brother of Jesus, since James is described as being the brother of Jesus. For instance Clement of Alexandria c. 150-215 AD wrote in his work, 
comments on the Epistle of Jude. That Jude, the epistle of Jude's author, was a son of Joseph and a brother of Jesus without specifying whether he was a son of Joseph by a previous marriage or of Joseph and Mary, there is also a dispute as to whether brother means someone who has the same father and mother, or a half-brother or cousin or more distant familial relationship. This dispute over the true meaning of brother grew as the doctrine of the virgin birth evolved, outside the book of Jude, a Jude is mentioned five times in the New Testament, three times as Jude the Apostle Luke chapter 6 verse 16, Acts chapter 1 verse 13, John chapter 14 verse 22, and twice as Jude the brother of Jesus Matthew chapter 13 verse 55, Mark chapter 6 verse 3 aside from references to Judas Iscariot and Judah son of Jacob. Debate continues as to whether the author of the epistle is either, both, or neither. Some scholars have argued that since the author of the letter has not identified himself as an apostle and actually refers to the apostles as a third party, he cannot be identified with Jude the Apostle. Others have drawn the opposite conclusion, i.e., that, as an apostle, he would not have made a claim of apostleship on his own behalf. Topic. Style the Epistle of Jude is a brief book of only a single chapter with 25 verses. It was composed as an encyclical letter, that is, one not directed to the members of one church in particular, but intended rather to be circulated and read in all churches. The wording and syntax of this epistle in its original Greek demonstrates that the author was capable and fluent. The epistle is addressed to Christians in general, and it warns them about the doctrine of certain errant teachers to whom they were exposed. The epistle's style is combative, impassioned, and rushed. Many examples of evildoers and warnings about their fates are given in rapid succession. The epistle concludes with a doxology, which is considered by Peter H. Davids to be one of the highest in quality contained in the Bible. Topic. Jude and 2 Peter Topic. Part of Jude is very similar to 2 Peter mainly 2 Peter chapter 2, so much so that most scholars agree that there is a dependence between the two, i.e., that either one letter used the other directly, or they both drew on a common source, because this epistle is much shorter than 2 Peter, and due to various stylistic details, some writers consider Jude the source for the similar passages of 2 Peter. However, other writers, arguing that Jude chapter 18 quotes 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 3 as past tense, consider Jude to have come after 2 Peter. Some scholars who consider Jude to predate 2 Peter note that the latter appears to quote the former but omits the reference to the non-canonical book of Enoch. Topic. References to other books Topic. The Epistle of Jude references at least two other books, with one being non-canonical in all churches and the other non-canonical in most churches. Verse 9 refers to a dispute between Michael the Archangel and the Devil about the body of Moses. Some interpreters understand this reference to be an allusion to the events described in Zechariah chapter 3 verses 1 to 2. The classical theologian Origen attributes this reference to the non-canonical assumption of Moses. According to James Charlesworth, there is no evidence the surviving book of this name ever contained any such content. Others believe it to be in the lost ending of the book. Verses 14 to 15 contain a direct quotation of a prophecy from 1 Enoch 1 to 9. The title, Enoch, the seventh from Adam, is also sourced from 1 N. 60 to 1. Most commentators assume that this indicates that Jude accepts the antediluvian patriarch Enoch as the author of the Book of Enoch which contains the same quotation. However, an alternative explanation is that Jude quotes the Book of Enoch aware that verses 14-15 are in fact an expansion of the words of Moses from Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 2. This is supported by Jude's unusual Greek statement that, Enoch the seventh from Adam prophesied to the false teachers. Not concerning them, the Book of Enoch is not considered canonical by most churches, although it is by the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. 
According to Western scholars, the older sections of the Book of Enoch mainly in the Book of the Watchers date from about 300 BC and the latest part Book of Parables probably was composed at the end of the 1st century BC. One Enoch 1 Enoch 1-9, mentioned above, is part of the Pseudepigrapha and is among the Dead Sea Scrolls 4Q Enoch 4Q204 4Q Enar call I-16-18. It is generally accepted by scholars that the author of the Epistle of Jude was familiar with the Book of Enoch and was influenced by it in thought and diction. See also Textual variants in the Epistle of Jude Notes Topic. External links Topic. Online translations of the Epistle of Jude Jude in New American Bible Online Bible at GospelHall.org Jude at Bible Gateway various versions. Early Christian Writings, Epistle of Jude, Comparable Translations and Interpretations Audiobook Version Jude Public Domain Audiobook at LibriVox Additional Information Catholic Encyclopedia Comprehensive Study The Epistle of Jude An Exegesis of Jude by Michael Quant